Good morning, dear friend. Ready to start a novel? Hello, hello, and welcome to the first episode of writing a book with me. So, in this vlog series, I'll be sharing with you my process of writing a novel, from idea foraging all the way to final touches. What does that mean? It means I'm starting a new book. And if you want to follow me on this journey, feel free to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so that we can support each other and reach the end together. Let's go get some coffee first. Whenever I have a day in which I can just write and work on my goals, I realize that I'm already living my dream. It's not exactly the way it looked in my head, but then again, it never is, and there's no point waiting for everything to be perfect in order to start. The dream is not simply the result, but all the efforts that takes to achieve it. So, this is my dream. Today. Right here. Right now. The goal for today is to share with you my brainstorming process before I start outlining, which is something I typically start doing quite early on, but which I'll be showing you in my next video. in this clip is outrageous but I'm basically introducing my current WIP which is titled Project Spirits. The novel is a new adult fantasy with moody academic vibes and lots of twists. The idea for this project is actually not new which is true for most of the projects that I start writing because I typically like my ideas to mature in my head before I sit down and commit to them fully. And that's basically what I'm saying here. But I'm ready to commit to this one, so let's just get started. I like to have a notebook for each project that I start. The purpose isn't for it to be pretty, but for me to put my thoughts down and organize my ideas. The first thing I do is I write all of the ideas I have for the project, whether they are scenes or settings, moods, etc. Everything gets written down.
So I just finished checking my lost and found ideas list but I'm really happy with some of the finds and they've already given me food for thought. I think most of them won't apply to the main plot which I already have kind of an idea for in my head but I think they'll give substance to the subplots and just the overall vibe of the story which is really important to me. But yeah, I still have some ideas to check out from my notebook, which I wrote, I don't know how long ago. I just have so many ideas floating around and I always like to check them out before I start really developing a project. So yeah, let's do this. Once I have seemingly no more to write, I go to my general ideas list and write down any that could apply to this story in particular. Brainstorming is a judgment-free phase of writing, so I'm not very strict about this part. I just go with the flow and follow my intuition. Once I'm out of ideas, I like to go on Pinterest and start creating a mood board based on what I already know about the story. Once I've pinned enough images, I click on more ideas and look for some more inspiration. The mood is a critical part of my stories, so I like to enjoy my time here, no rush. By this point, I usually have enough ideas to start shaping the elements of the story. My favorite part to start with is the theme, because having a theme is the only way for me to be sure that I have a story. What is it that I want to say? This is also when I start asking myself questions and developing the characters. In a story, each character has an internal arc and an external arc. Each of these involves three elements, a goal, a motivation, a conflict. So the GMC method is based on the character's arcs and it's an easy way for us to not only get to know the characters but also know how to move the story forth and what they need to learn. So you can use these three elements, the goal, motivation, conflict in a sentence and that sentence would be character wants and then you fill in with 
to go because motivation but conflict and then some people also add so and then what happens in the story and so for the goal you could for example ask yourself what does the character want motivation why do they want it and usually uh, for the external arc the character doesn't want the thing that they need and the reason why they want this thing is often their flaw that they're going to need to fix so that they achieve the final truth so that they learn the theme so and then you have conflict what's stopping them from achieving the goal and this conflict could also be a character flaw that they need to fix or it could be some external event in order to complement this goal motivation conflict method you could also ask yourself what does the character need because that's going to help you with the so what needs to happen for them to achieve their goal the main difference between the external GMC and the internal GMC is that the external GMC is usually plot related it's what's going to drive the story forth and the internal GMC is usually related to the emotional or internal growth of the character yeah i hope that helped <laughs>
you know have in mind but I usually don't do extensive research before I start. I think the most important part for brainstorming is to keep things fun, to not let yourself be stuck to the rules because especially as you learn more about storytelling I think it's really easy to just try to follow the structure try to you know hit all of these points but I feel like when we are brainstorming we need to let our mind flow more than that like don't put any barriers on your imagination okay okay um also telling this to myself <laughs> yeah i think i've gone through all of the main steps that i follow as i am brainstorming a novel the rest of the brainstorming process will be me detailing scenes daydreaming more doing more research and yeah just trying to find more and more things that get me excited about this story so yeah, I really hope you liked this vlog and that you found it inspirational and helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye!